I'm pretty sure I am living the dream life that I envisioned for myself like five years ago. Good morning, friends. It is currently a Thursday. Um, I just got back from LA, but if you're wondering, whoa, who is this? Why does she have a full face of makeup on? It's because I had to film a sponsor thing this morning, but the fit is looking cute. We're looking biz cash today. So I did just get back from a week long trip in LA, which means that the house has been singly occupied by Buttos and a very busy resident, which means that the house is a very big mess. So we've got a lot to do on the agenda, so I thought I'd take you guys along. We've got to run probably like 3,000 errands. I have a long list and I'm trying to cluster my care, get them all done at the same time. And we also have to unpack all the things from LA. Have not done that yet. I'm usually the worst unpacker. I just leave things until I really need something in the luggage and then that's when I'll open it. To give you like a glimpse of what we're working with, okay, we gotta return that charger to Best Buy. This is all the stuff that I unboxed from the last week that I need to throw away. OMG. And then I had to film a get ready with me TikTok this morning. So this is what my desk looks like, but don't worry. Okay, ready? Wait for it. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Okay, look how clean she is. Literally took less than five minutes. Okay, she's a little dirty back here, but she's pretty clean down here. before I left for LA and they're still here. We're gonna toss them. They honestly look kind of aesthetic. Goodbye. Okay, so I've also been doing this thing I saw on TikTok, but basically I've just been soaking my brush in like soap and water every couple of months because apparently like the dead, dusty stuff on there is actually bacteria. Okay, she's all clean. We're gonna leave her out to dry. Okay, I'm about to unpack this LA luggage. It's a carry-on, but there's actually a lot of stuff in here. I had a sponsored post that went live when I was in, or was gonna go live when I was in LA, and it wasn't approved yet by the time I left, so I had to bring all this stuff for that sponsored post just in case it didn't get approved. So I feel like I have a lot more than I normally have, but most of this is just gonna get tossed into the laundry. to go. Okay, before we dive way too deep into this video, I want to talk about something really special. You guys have seen me wear the Naywide Barely Zero bra all the time. I wish I was exaggerating when I said my entire lingerie drawer, including my bras, underwear, even some of my loungewear is exclusively Naywide because their clothes are genuinely made to live in. They are so comfortable and so stylish. And so I actually reached out to them to see if they'd be willing to partner with me on this video, which is why they're sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Naywide. So so I know I've talked about this bra with you guys before. The Barely Zero Cloud Fit bra is truly amazing because this one bra fits anyone from a A cup to a double D cup. I don't know about you guys, but my weight fluctuates all the time within like a 10 pound range. And also depending on the time of the month, I might be more bloated. And so I really, really appreciate this bra. Not only is it so comfortable that I can actually wear a bra at home, which I know revolutionary, this is the only bra that I can wear all day, every day. Naywai really focuses on this idea that your size is the size. So even as my body changes and my weight fluctuates, this bra will remain a staple and it makes it super easy to actually online shop for bras because one size fits almost all people. So the Barely Zero is obviously one of my favorites. They have this new style with the spaghetti straps, which I love. It's just so versatile. Sometimes I just wear it as a little crop top and put a blazer over it and hop outside. It is just the highest quality fabric. Like you truly have to buy it for yourself to know. 
So this one is a Pure Comfort 5 8 cup bandeau bra. And then finally, we have the Summer Moonlight padded camisole and shorts. This is loungewear that is so, so comfy. They actually already has pads inside the tank, so you don't even need to wear a bra with it. And then finally, Kevin has been begging me to order these for forever, but they actually also have boxers for men. So we did get Kevin some. I think he's gonna be super excited. I hope that you could genuinely see how much I love Nay Their loungewear, their lingerie is so, so, so comfortable and made to live in. I hope that you guys like these pieces as much as I did. If I had to name one brand that I felt like I fell in love with in 2021, it's easily Nay You can actually use my code, which is Mickey20. You can get 20% off your first order. It's also linked in the description box below. So order yourself a few pieces, treat yourself. It's that time of the year. Okay, quick little OOTD. I don't even recognize me. I feel like I look like a whole new person. Definitely kind of giving off some mom vibes with the pants, but they're kind of cute. Got sneakers on. Okay, we have a long to-do list, so we need to go to Target and Best Buy, which are right next to each other. Got to go to Chase Bank to deposit a fat check, and we have to go to Sephora to get brow pencil because I went to LA and had my brow pencil in my makeup bag, and then it snapped and broke. So I think we're gonna get two so that we don't end up in this situation again. Wow, I really thought I was about to die. There was a lady, it was a two-way street. I was driving on one side and she thought it was a one-way, I think. And so she was literally driving head on towards me and I didn't even know what to do. I just started slowing down. But at the last minute, she like realized that she was wrong, but she like didn't wave or anything, but that was kind of traumatizing. Okay, so next up is Best Buy. I had bought this Ravel charger thingy when I was in LA because like the horrible vlogger that I am, I completely forgot to bring my battery charger. And so I literally used it once. I feel kind of bad. I'm going to return it. But um, she has all the original packaging and everything. So thanks Best Buy for loading me a battery charger for 20 minutes. So appreciate it. Now we're going to return her because she was like 50 bucks. Wow, friends. We're really zooming through the errands today. You didn't even open the box, bless. Okay, next up we're going to Target because we need to get some makeup remover basically. But we're gonna try to leave with just the makeup remover. I think there's one other thing that I needed. But I always make like a little thing in my notes app because I will literally forget what I came for and buy everything else. I'm gonna try the off-brand one because she's way cheaper. It's like actually crazy how comfortable I am just whipping out my camera now. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. See you again soon. Okay, we got the goods. All that's left is groceries. All the errands are done. So let's go to Asian Family Mart and I'm thinking we do like a hot pot night or something tonight. So let's go get meat and veggies, fish balls, whole deal. This bag is so heavy. Can you see how filled to the room this bag is? It's cutting off circulation to my shoulder. I am not gonna bore you with the usual grocery haul because I got things that I basically normally get. Anyways, I did get this green tea. It's kind of expensive. She's like $6, but I bought it like two weeks ago and I really wanted to drink it and I didn't drink any. And Kevin drank all of it in LA. So I got myself a new one. If you're wondering if I got Kevin the woman face natto, I sure did. Last time I got him the really fancy expensive one and he said that wasn't the one he wanted. So we did get the right one this time. And then fun purchase, I did get some jelly straws. I literally have not had these since I was a kid, but I figured it might be fun. And then there's a little cute bakery right next to the supermarket. So I got a garlic bread, got guoro bao, and then some souffle cheese bites. Okay, these look so good. I think I'm gonna refrigerate them. I will have one and then I'll leave have one of these. This is your friendly reminder to drink water or tea if you haven't already today, okay? Cheers. So good. You know, I thought about this deeply the other day when I was in LA sitting on the beach of Venice. I'm pretty sure I am living the dream life that I envisioned for myself like five years ago. You know, what I wanted was to be able to have work-life balance, be able to work when I want to and be able to take time when I want to work on something bigger than just myself and also work on something that's bigger than just work because what are you gonna do sell your soul to your job because that ain't it not in the 21st century I have enough money to pay for rent to put food on the table buy desserts and things that I want 
Mmm, that's really good. Life is just really good and I'm really grateful for everything. I think I have worked really hard to get to this point and I couldn't have done it without the support of my friends, my family, and of course you guys. And you know, I think a lot of the times we push ourselves and we feel like what we're doing right now is not enough. And we feel like we always have to be bigger and better and you're always comparing yourself to other people. And there's always gonna be people who are doing better, right? And always people who are gonna be doing worse. And either way, I don't think you should be comparing yourself to other people. Your journey is your own and everyone's timeline is a little bit different. and. Sometimes I think we all need a reminder. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Right now, I'm feeling 10 out of 10. Your 20s is such an interesting time because I think your whole life you are, you know, chasing this traditional timeline that people push on you, right? First you do K to 12 and then after K to 12 you are um, applying for college and then after college you get your first job. No one ever really told me that maybe you don't like your job, maybe you want to switch jobs, maybe you have other things that you want to do. I don't know why I think it's very standard to have this idea that you're going to get a job, you're going to love it and stay there for a while. Your 20s is when you graduate college and you start working and it's the first time in your life you really have some sort of freedom to express yourself so for the first time in your life you have control over your hobbies and your free time right because when you're stuck in college all of your free time is pretty much yes you hang out with your friends and stuff but a lot of it is allocated towards making sure that you can get a job and making sure that you are going to be you know one step ahead you know in some ways having that control over your life is such a beautiful thing and in some ways it's incredibly scary because if you don't navigate it correctly you could end up with the wrong crowd the wrong interests and you just have to be so careful about who you're surrounding yourself with and you know at the same time there's also nobody pushing you so you have to be in charge of your own life there's no deadlines there's no homework assignments that are due your personal growth is up to yourself i think you have to say yes to the right opportunities and say no to the wrong opportunities. One, because when you say yes to all the opportunities that you aren't necessarily the best fit, you're actually taking up space for the opportunities that could be the right fit, right? You're already filling your plate up so much that even if the right opportunity were to come by, you might not be able to identify it or you might not have the time or the energy for it. If you feel comfortable, comment down below and let me know. Like what stage of life are you in? Are you still in high school? Are you in college? Are you working now? How many years have you been working? And whether these feelings are the same or if they're different or you feel like, you know, when you feel like you did the most growing. <laughs> I was gonna close this vlog, but Kevy came home, so he's gonna say hi. Are you living your best life? Not really. Am I living my best life? Dude, last night on call was pretty, pretty nice. Kevin didn't get, well, he got page once last night. You were in a pretty okay mood though, when you answered that page. I woke up with you. It was a semi, not really legitimate page at two in the morning. They were trying to transfer a patient to the floor, basically. At two in the morning? Yep. You don't like to transfer patients at two in the morning? Well, they were already transferred to the floor. They just needed some orders fixed, but I, I don't blame them now these Why days. Why are you sounding so um, official? Crusty. I don't blame these days because, you know, the hospital's really full. So like ICU beds are very uh, in high demand. You have something in your throat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Hi. Oh. Okay, that's the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget your 10 out of 10. Don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. And don't forget... Life's a... That's not the catchphrase. Uh, I can't remember it. No, I forgot it. Your... Oh, your... Your 100%. Your... Your best is definitely enough. Your best is enough. Okay, bye. This is the extra. This is the post. Ooh, do you have to buy two or does it just come in this? No, it comes in two. Thanks. The fact that I didn't eat the other one, you have to really? give me props. Okay, eat it. Somebody's sniffing really hard. Wow, you weren't going to offer me the first bite? I'm no, just kidding. Pretty good. <laughs> the bottles is like, ever since his teeth are gone, he always just sticks his tongue out. Like, Yeah, it doesn't really go back in. I'm sorry. He's old. He's a senior citizen. What kind of smell? Like Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager. Okay.